Have you ever had a bad day and you just wanted to come home and take it out on the Hearthstone ladder? <laughs> kind of a strange question, but I've had those kind of days. And uh, when I do that, I start looking for a face deck. Because when you're angry, I mean, sometimes you just want to punch somebody in the face. I would never endorse violence of any kind, so I do it to the Hearthstone ladder. When I do that these days, I look no further than Quest Hunter. It's actually just a face deck. Uh, some people might call it a burn deck. Uh, super fun, though. It really helps you relieve that kind of frustration, you know, when you've just had a bad day. Taking a quick look at the deck, um, it's exactly what you would expect with the quest and all of the typical damaging spells that we would want to use to be able to uh, complete the different parts of the quest. Um, kind of the thing, uh, the engine, rather, that makes this deck go in terms of being a burn deck, face deck, is the Devouring Swarm combos. So, uh, specifically, we would be looking at using something like uh, Venomous Scorpid, Devouring Swarm, to be able to remove a minion on the other side. And then, of course, you know, play the Scorpid, discover a spell, Devouring Swarm, and then we can discover another spell. Pretty strong. Same thing with Imported Tarantula, Devouring Swarm on Imported Tarantula. Um, hopefully, you can hit something where it dies, and then you're going to get the 1-1 one -one spotters uh, with Poisonous and Rush. Um, just help you be able to keep your opponent's side of the board clear, which enables you to spend uh, your hero powers and hopefully, you know, all of your quick shots and aim shots and arcane shots going directly to the opponent's face uh, to just be able to kill them. Uh, other curiosities in the deck, Rust Rot Viper. Uh, mostly, it's just here for the tradable keyword. Of course, tradable is also on Imported Tarantula. A lot of times you're just going to trade these and look for those damaging spells to be able to complete the quest. Um, Rust Rot Viper specifically, though, is super, super strong against any kind of a weapon deck. Um, the main one that I see is uh, Big Warrior slash Control Warrior. Um, save it for Bulwark of Azanoth. You can break their Bulwark. That's kind of like the last stand defensive line that that deck plays to be able to avoid dying. And uh, being able to just break it and not have to deal with the individual charges is really good. Also, Weapon Rogues. I haven't seen Weapon Rogue in um, quite a while. So, uh, if it ever does get popular again, though, we've got the Rust Rod Viper in here for now. But again, mostly, you're just going to trade it be able to get another card out of your deck. And uh, one final card to talk about, Selective Breeder. Discover a copy of a beast in your deck. This actually creates an extra copy. It's not pulling one out of your deck. It's creating an extra one. So, potentially, you have two or three imported Tarantulas, even though there's only one in the deck. Same thing with the uh, Venomous Scorpid here. Um, so again, just ends up being really strong, letting you create extra resources. So uh, we're going to take a look at some gameplay here. I'm going to try to show you how we uh, burn somebody's face down. If you're liking the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure and check out the other videos on the channel. If you're digging this, you're going to like the other stuff also. Illyria versus Illidan. Tremble before the might of the elves. So pro tip number one is you always keep always. And outside of that, what we're looking for is really the cheap damage spells. We want to be able to get the quest online as quickly as possible, at least up to uh, part two to get the hero power. Against Demon Hunter, I'm trying to determine what the likelihood is that it's OTK versus something else. If it's OTK, they're not really playing minions. In which case, we would want to keep aim shot because we'll be able to aim it at his face for quest progress. Something like Death Rattle, they are going to be playing minions on the board, in which case, we would want cheaper things like you know, maybe Bola shots or Wound Ray. I'm going to keep the aim shot here. I mean, I'm just really not seeing a lot of OTK Demon Hunter. In the end, it's a shot in the dark. So this is all potentially face damage. It is quest, so we know it's OTK. So this is good. I mean, this is actually just a really fortunate draw um, on our part. Both aim shots, quick shot, arcane shots, everything that can get a face. Use our mana as efficiently as possible. 
do as much damage as we can every turn. So, I mean, it still depends on what our opponent does, but likely we're looking at aim shot turn three, uh, aim shot, arcane shot turn four. Just trying to get through the quest, get the free hero power at least, and do damage face. There's not a whole lot of healing packed into this deck. I'm assuming he runs eye beams. He's going to have fell screen blast. We're just not going to put minions on the board. We're not going to give him any targets, which means he's going to have to play his own minions, which could potentially hurt his ability to uh, get his OTK combo off. And really, in these early turns, he's just looking to draw cards. Pleasure doing business. So it looks like he's going to go ahead and complete the quest. That's good for us. He's going to discount the uh, persistent peddler, which likely just gets traded anyway. So he only really discounted three real cards. And that was just a throwaway for, uh... He was just throwing away the immolation or I assume, to, uh move a Skull of Gul'dan over to the outcast position. So we pretty much know what he's going to be doing. Pleasure Although, doing I misspoke, this deck does not run Skull of Gul'dan because it's the OTK deck. But there is an outcast card that he was trying to move. They will never catch me! Possibly could even be a Glod. So with this combo, Devouring Swarm imported Tarantula, we'll be able to play that once his 7-7 uh, seven, seven comes down, and then we'll be able to kill it with the uh, Poisonous Rush Spotters. So at this point, I think we just keep to our plan. So give us the free hero power. We're going to be using that free hero power every turn now. All damage going to the face. It's a burn deck, baby. Plays like a glide here to complete the quest. We're not super sad about it. Our hand's not great. We don't have any more damage spells. The only thing that we would even want to keep would be our answer to the 7-7. Seven, seven. And he's just trying to do some healing here. able to do quite a bit of healing, but he only has four cards in hand. Hopefully he doesn't have the card draw to be able to complete his quest. in hand 14 in the deck. There's the glide. <clears throat> Did not glide our stuff, so this is going to complete the quest. Quest reward's going to come down next turn. We've got our answer for it lined up. We also have like this with a spell. So we don't we don't have to worry about his 7-7 seven, seven actually hitting us here, which is good. Need to discover a damage spell that we can use this turn. Um, it's got to be this. We use it right now, we kill our 1-3. Get the quest reward, but next turn we likely have to deal with... This turn we're going to have to deal with a 7-7, seven, seven. so what's the best way to do this? And this combo deals with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Now that goes face every time. We do this now, we get it in hand.
and we can actually just drop it and use the Devouring Swarm to trade 7-7. Seven, seven. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill off our things and do best. And we can go ahead and trade the uh, imported Tarantula. And hopefully, you know, we don't get hit with a uh, Glide here since we weren't able to complete our... Uh, or not able to play our quest reward, but he's already used one blood. So we're gonna go hero power this devouring swarm. Hero power. Quick shot again. So now it's just a race between which one of us can kill the other one first. And this actually lets us get into more damage. So with this, we have seven. He's unable to heal, we just need one more I spell see. of any kind to be able to kill him. I'm assuming we don't die here. Pleasure doing business. But certainly we would expect to be dead next turn, so we really have to kill him. Pleasure doing business. He's just doing Demon Hunter things, trying to put together his combo. He's got a lot of cheap cards. Should be able to get there with this. Yep. Demon Hunter down, baby. Don't forget to shoot him in the face. 